Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're gonna to talk about VeChain. I know a lot of you have questions about this because I posted this in, in the um, community comment section. A lot of people had questions about this, and we're gonna go over Totient Labs, why VForge is shutting down, um, and VForge is actually not the blockchain. The actual blockchain is still up and running just fine, and I'll tell you where to find that, and also like the stats of how much is burned each day. But VForge, which, where we looked at the transactions, um, how many transactions there were, how much VTHO was burned each day in a nice graph is actually shutting down because that's actually not uh, maintained by the VeChain Foundation. That is a third party called Totient Labs that VeChain has outsourced to and actually supports. Now VeChain has actually given them about $100,000 um, to the Totient team. And they've also provided uh, other support like having them speak at their summit and basically featuring all their products on Twitter, Reddit, Telegram, and Facebook. But however, it looks like Toti and Labs is run by like two guys basically, or two or three guys, and it looks like they didn't think they received enough money. So they are shutting down uh, VForge, and that includes kind of like the interface gateway for Nano Ledger. But not to worry, your coins are actually safe on Nano Ledger. The interface um, VChain is actually taking all that in-house and they will release a new upgraded interface in about two weeks for Ledger Nano. VForge, um, the Veach Explorer, they're also releasing at the end of November with more features and search things. And it'll be integrated with a lot of their um, applications. Like it'll be integrated with, it'll actually be integrated with a lot of app development. Um, and uh, it'll have a lot of other features that we don't have now. Uh, it'll It'll have token registry and application hub so that the VIP80 token issuers and DAP developers are able to add the token or DAP info to the Explorer simply by submitting a pull request to the open source data repositories. And then there'll be robust APIs for third parties such as DAPs, exchanges, wallet providers to easily integrate the VeChain blockchain and acquire accounts, tokens, transactions, blockchain history. And it'll also integrate with VeChain Masternode dashboard, which is in the process of being developed. Um, so all that will happen probably by the end of next month on the on the new official blockchain explorer and it won't be by like some random third party lab it'll actually be by vchain themselves now if you're interested if you're interested in like where's the block explorer right now they basically have a basic block explorer at vchain insight and i'll link vchain insight um in the uh, comments as the first pinned comment this is the basic blockchain that every blockchain project actually has um and as you can see here uh, yeah, basic, uh, and as actually you can see here, um, you can see like how much gas is actually used, how much ta um, how much ta uh, TX is on recent blocks, and there's also this other third party thing called VeChain Stats. It's not as pretty as like uh, VForge Explorer, but you can see how many nodes there are, how many economic nodes there are, and um, basically how much is actually burned, uh, how much gas is actually burned, and a lot of other stats. So I'll leave the links to all these things in the description. I'll also leave the link to the Medium article in the description. Now, for those um, who are wondering, is this good news, is this bad news? It's not like good news as they're trying to spin it on this Medium article, because um, countries always, companies always try to spin this kind of news. But it's also not like bad news or anything. Basically, like one of their, one of the developers uh, VeChain, one of the developers that VeChain was supporting that, that they gave $100,000 to suddenly turned an about face and didn't give um, the VeChain Foundation much notice. So essentially, they gave the VeChain Foundation like 18 hours notice uh, uh, that they were closing down. And it was on a Sunday, so they weren't able to do that much. But they responded within like, you know, four or five hours. And they actually came up with, you know, hey, we're just going to, you know, since they're like, you know, ditching us like this, we're just going to pull everything in-house. And since we already have the basic blockchain developed and we have some other third-party stuff, we're just going to use that for right now for like the next couple of weeks until we announce this whole new upgraded suite of um, stuff or uh, this whole new upgraded blockchain explorer. And this time it's, and this time no one's going to pull the rug out under us uh, because, we're not outsourcing it to VForge, we're just doing it ourselves. So that's good for the future, but right now it does cause some issues, especially for those of us who actually look, like to look at the VChain Block Explorer or VForge Block Explorer. And this is where we've been getting a lot of the burn data from. So this will actually be shut down probably tomorrow. Um, the vault thing, I think, also will not actually be functional. So your ledger interface will probably be, will, will the ledger interface won't work right now, but it will be 
a new upgraded interface in about two weeks uh, when VeChain writes an upgraded ledger interface. Your coins on the ledger are perfectly safe. Uh, remember, VForge does not have any real control over your coins. Um, VForge doesn't have any control over your coins. So as soon as the new interface is up, you can just access the interface. If you have your private keys, you can probably access it anyways, regardless if you have the interface or not. Now, for those of you who are asking, does this affect my coins on Binance? Does this affect my coins in Atomic Wallet? Does this, my, this, this affect my coins on anything besides Ledger? No, it doesn't. The exchanges will automatically repoint to the newer one, uh, to the newer blockchain explorer in the interface. And that really won't have anything to do with you. So your coins are actually safe. But however, this does cause somewhat of a disruption uh, of service to some coin holders who have coins on Ledger and that are reliant on the interface. However, this does not have any effect on VeChain's partners, does not have any effect on Walmart China or anything. They can use the Blockchain Explorer just fine. And we can actually still see the data from um, those things. It's just that VForge was a very pretty interface and we don't have that pretty interface anymore, but we'll get an even prettier interface in about a month. And for those of you who are, who are dependent on the interface for actually doing Nano Ledger, you'll get a better interface in about two weeks. So there's really nothing to worry about, but it's not really good news either as they're trying to spin it because it does cause a disruption of services for some people, but it has nothing to do with their partnerships. It doesn't affect their partnerships. It doesn't affect VeChain's day-to-day -day activities. So it's not really a step back for the company. And once they actually get their official VNode, um, once they actually get their official Explore, upgraded Explore online, we'll all be much better off. But like I said, disruption of service, not really good news like they're trying to spin it, but not really bad news either. As for should you buy VeChain right now based on this news or should you sell? Um, I actually would hold back on buying right now because as you can see here on live coin watch, I think the, this news has some people a little spooked. It really hasn't shown in price today. We still gone up by 0.38% today, but that's less than the market average. And you can see sell pressure is actually building right now. So I would hesitate to buy more. I'm not going to say like sell everything either, but I would hesitate to buy more. I would actually just keep my money in Bitcoin right now because it looks like Bitcoin is sort of going up right now. And Bitcoin dominance has actually grown by somewhere between half a percent and a percent. We might actually see more Bitcoin dominance growing in the future. So I would honestly just uh, keep my money in Bitcoin and wait to see what this news does on Monday morning when people actually find out uh, that the Totian thing is actually going to shut down VForge, um, but that VeChain Foundation itself is just going to basically take everything that Totian's done in-house and they actually have like stopgap measures to bridge the two weeks or a month um, that it's going to take them to get everything in-house. So I will link all the additional information, but generally like I'm pretty neutral on this news. It's not like one of their partners bowed out or anything. Um, and their new um, block official blockchain explorer, once they uh, uh, launch the upgraded version, uh, it'll have third-party APIs, it'll have token registry and application hub, everything that VForge did not have for application developers, and it'll have a brand new interface to interface in Ledger Nano. So I really wouldn't be too worried about it. Um, like I said, it doesn't really affect like your coins, like you didn't lose your coins or anything, but if you're looking to buy more coins, I would actually hold back for a day or two just to see what the market is like. And if there's a sudden dump for, uh, to that, uh, if there's a sudden dump to like 35, 36 Satoshi, well, then, you know, you can just buy in at a lower price. I don't really expect it to dump below 35, 36 Satoshi if it even does dump. I'm not even sure if it's going to dump. It's held its Satoshi value pretty well recently uh, after dumping to around 40 and it's still holding 41, 42 right now. It's been holding that for a month as the rest of the alt market's actually coming, uh, catching up to Bitcoin. Bitcoin's lost about 4%, but now it's gained like half a percent to 1% over the entire market. So that's why those are two reasons I would actually... Um, those are the two reasons I would actually just not buy anymore right now and wait a day or two just to see how all this plays out and see how people act to it once the information actually gets out. Uh, when the new interface for the Ledger Nano comes on and when the new Block Explorer uh, fully gets launched, I will let you know as well. But for right now, uh, the actual Block Explorer still works just fine. It's VChain Insight. You don't have to rely on VForge. VForge is just a pretty interface for the Block Explorer. All right, you can actually look at the actual Block Explorer right here, and I'll link VeChain Insights and VeChain Stats plus the article in the description. And uh, you can decide what you want to do, but I would honestly hold back in buying more VeChain for the time being. Maybe you can buy it for a little bit cheaper, um, maybe in a day or two. But if you don't see prices drop within a few days, 
probably just buy in if you want to buy more. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.